What's up guys, I'm Black Ops Amazing and welcome to another GTA 5 video on my channel. So today guys, I'm going to be talking about what was the possible delay of GTA 5 on the PlayStation 4, Xbox One and PC. And I'm also going to be talking about a brand new music DLC. If you do go into enjoy the video guys, by the end, all the ask from you is that you leave a like rating. And if you want to see some more content like this up on my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button on the screen. Now, all below the video guys, thank you very much for watching and enjoy. So starting off with the brand new possible music for GTA 5 Online for the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360. Now I've already done a video on this if you didn't know I will link it down in the description but on the Xbox One, PlayStation 4 and the PC on the next gen version of GTA 5 for the radio stations they'll be having a brand new refurbishment so they're having all new songs, all new radio stations and all new radio hosts. It all sounds really awesome. If you didn't know, someone called Cara Devine posted this tweet I will show you on screen. Now it says, back with Rockstar Games to update my GTA V radio station, Nonstop Pop FM, for new versions coming this fall. So basically, she's gone into the Rockstar Studios to do some brand new recording for the Nonstop Pop FM radio station just for GTA 5 on the next gen versions. And if they're refreshing the radio stations and having new hosts on the radio stations for next gen, that also means the possibility for brand new songs on the next gen versions as well, and even brand new radio stations. So that's all awesome, that is all for next gen, but this also means that is the possibility for them to port all of this brand new DLC from next gen port it down to the current gen so they could port all the brand new songs and put them all on the current gen GTA V as well. So that means brand new radio DLC. So like I said, everything that they add on next gen for the radio stations, they could all simply put into GTA V what we've simply got. Now, obviously they'll have to apply for permission. They'll do all that for next gen once they've got it all finished on next gen. They could port it down to the current gen or I guess you could say the old gen now, the 360 and PlayStation 3 and add that in as DLC. So that's the first thing, possible DLC for the radio stations, new music, new hosts, all stuff like that. That's looking very likely. Now there was also a rumour that GTA 5 on the next gen, so the PlayStation 4, Xbox One and PC will be delayed until early 2015. Now this rumour started because basically GTA 5 is supposed to release this fall this year and basically that is just in a couple of months time and normally around this time we would have loads of branding for the next gen version of GTA 5 which we don't have out right now and also GTA 5 wasn't at the latest game event so you know it wasn't there it wasn't being shown anywhere it was only shown at E3 apart from that and if any other game event what we've had since then they haven't shown anything from GTA and since the game is coming out very soon you'd expect Rockstar to actually show the next gen version of GTA 5 so because they've really done nothing with the game there's no branding out there really Everyone thought that this game, there's a high possibility of it being delayed. Now that possibility is still out there. It could still be delayed, but Rockstar have actually come out and said something about this. So basically what they've said is, the release date has not been changed. That is all that Rockstar said. Like I said, someone on a support page asked them if the uh, release date for next gen GTA 5 has been delayed. And all they said is, the release date has not been changed and they referred him to a support article. So. That's literally all the news we have now. I don't think it will be delayed, although it is kind of strange that they haven't really done anything about this game, to be fair. So, that's it for the video, guys. Thank you all very much for watching. Hopefully, you have enjoyed. If you have enjoyed, make sure you drop me a like rating. My voice is going. I've been up for six hours. It is now 8 p.m. Um, in the UK, I guess. I think it's 8 p.m. right now. I'm not even sure what time we're on, to be honest. Um, but I've been up for about 36 hours now over that. Um, just doing video for you guys. Honestly, I've been working really, really hard. So if you could just drop me a like rating, guys, that'd be absolutely amazing. Make sure you hit the subscribe button on screen now or below the video if you want to see some more content from me. Make sure you follow me on Twitter and Twitch. Links will be down in the description. Thank you for watching, guys. Until next time, peace out.